Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Laga Tips. This is the episode 2 of Not a Simple To Do App series. In this video, we will be deploying the To Do app that we had completed on the episode 1 to the live server using Cloudways. And on the other episodes, we will be using Redis to make our app a little bit faster. Then we will be using Q, Chrome Jobs as well, and as well as we will be using the staging server in order to deploy the new features. And then we will merge that to the production. We will see everything in this series. Now let's move on and deploy our app to the production server. For that, first of all, we need to create a GitHub repository where we have to push our code so that we'll be able to deploy the code from the GitHub to Cloudways. And we'll be using Cloudways to deploy our app to the production. And thanks to Cloudways for sponsoring this video. First of all, we'll go to github.com and create a new repository by clicking on the plus button. Then we'll write our repository name, we'll make it public and then create. As we have already used git in our project, we don't have to run every one of these commands. We'll just copy the git remote add origin command and then let's go to our project and paste that command on the terminal. Then let us copy this last command and execute that as well. It will push all the code that is present in our local to the github. Now if we refresh, then we'll see all our code here. After this, we'll go to cloudways. You can click on the link that I have given in the description or in the pinned comment and then go to this page and you'll also get 15% discount for 3 months on all the Cloudways products. After you click on that link, this page will be visible to you. So if you haven't registered, then you can register on Cloudways by using Google, GitHub or any of these accounts or just use your names and email address, everything that is mentioned over here. And if you already have an account, click on login. Enter your email and password if you already have the account. And if you register, then it will take you to the dashboard directly. So let me log in. Here is the Cloudways dashboard. We have to create a server. Now let us go to the left sidebar and click on my servers. We don't have any servers, so it is showing empty right now. Let us click on launch now. Here we can select applications. Let us select Laravel over here. And you can see that the Laravel version is 10.0. 11.0 but ignore this because we are using the latest laravel version in our project so that will be used whenever we install our project on the cloudway server now let us enter the application name server name and project name so here the project name is the main folder the server name is the name of the server here it is laratives and we can create multiple applications on one server so in our case we are naming the application as to do because we are creating a to do application on the Laratip server then we can select any one of the servers either DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, AWS or Google Cloud but in our case we are using DigitalOcean using this slider we can increase or decrease the RAM of our server but let us use 4GB for our application in the server location you have to select the location that is nearest to you for me it's Bangalore which is nearest to my country so I'm selecting it then let's click on launch now so it is saying it will take about 7 minutes and I'll come back after it is done. The server has been successfully created and it took about 10 minutes for me. Now when we click on the server, it will show us the master credentials. This is the public IP address of our server, the server username and the password. You can use these to log into the server. Or you can just click on launch SSS terminal and then it will open the terminal and then you can enter the username and password then you can log into the server on the top right corner where you can see www and you can see one over there it is the number of applications that are present in this server in our case we have created the application named as to do which is showing here and if you click here then it will show us the access details of this application where we'll get the application url and if we click on it it will show us the default laravel application that cloudways installs for us whenever we set up this server and it looks like this now let us log into the server using our terminal we'll say ssh and then provide the username at the rate ip address so here in my case i have to use these extra parameters but in your case just type ssh the username at the rate ip address and then hit enter then it will ask the password just copy the password and paste it over here and you will be logged into the server we can see the list of the data by saying ls let us go into that application directory there is another directory so we'll go into it then let us go into public underscore html this is the folder where our project lives and we can do ls-la to show the list of all the hidden and non-hidden files and folders now let us remove everything that is present over here 
sorry not this command we have to use dash rf which means the recursive delete so after this if i list the files and folders then all the visible files and folders are deleted but the hidden files are not deleted so let us delete those as well so for this you have to run this command starting with dot asterisk now all the files and folders are removed and you can see that the application is not opening because we have removed all the files and folders now let us go to the cloud ways and go to the application then go to deployment via git here we'll generate the sss key that we'll be using in our github let's view the sss key and copy it then we'll go to github settings deploy keys add new deploy key we'll paste that key over here and give a title cloudways only requires the read access so we don't have to give the write access then we'll click on add key we have to provide our password so after this it will create the deployment key for us now let us go to the code section of the github and copy the github repository url then go back to the cloudways and paste that in the input box and then click on authenticate it will authenticate using that key and fetch all the branches that are present in our github repo we'll select the main branch because we'll be deploying using that branch on the production server the deployment path will be public underscore html which we'll keep as is and then click on start deployment the deployment will take few seconds you can see here the to-do repository has been cloned now if we go here in the terminal and list then all the files and folders are present over here now if we check the laravel version using php artisan dash dash version then it will give us some error also let us check the php version which is 8.2.28 but we are using 8.3 in our local development so to increase the psd version let us go to the cloudways and click on servers then click on settings and packages then packages and then let us click on modify on the psp section and click on php 8.3 and click on continue so here it will upgrade the psp version it will take about one to two minutes and i'll come back after it's done so the psp version has been upgraded now let us see that on the terminal we'll say psp artisan version and then it is 8.3.1 so here is the list of the files let us create .env file over here and we'll copy all the contents of our local environment variable to the production and we'll change some of the things so we'll say touch.env which will create .env file and vi.env will open that env file by default it will be read only so we'll click on i in our keyword and then paste that we have copied from the .env file from our local development to here by clicking on command v now let us go to the top and change the application url for that we'll go here and copy the url and then paste it under app underscore url let us keep app debug as true and app underscore env as local since we are currently in the development phase but after we have completed this to the application then we have to change app underscore environment to production and debug to false then we also have to change this app underscore key the next thing we have to do is change our database credentials we'll go on the cloudways and on the applications we'll click on to do and then we'll see the database credentials over here we'll just copy these and paste in our env file now here i have to change the redis password as well because in my local it was password but in the server it will be null so let's change the redis password to null so everything's look okay now let us save this env file for that we'll click on esc colon w q and then hit enter now let us update our composer dependencies that's great everything has been updated after this let us migrate and seed the data the database has been migrated and the data has been seeded then let us go to our application url and refresh and yes we can see our default laravel page that we had in our local development now let us log in using the data that we have created using the seeders let's go to database seeder and copy lara tips at to do dot test and the password is password by default now let us click on login and you can see here we are here in the dashboard of our to do application and you can see that we have successfully deployed our application to the production server using cloudways isn't that awesome and it is very easy to deploy our app to the production server using cloudways now let us go to the to-do list and you can see here all the lists that are created from the seeder are present over here so you can see here the create to-do page and let me create this to-do by clicking on the create button you can see here to-do created successfully but some of the styles are not showing here because we have to run npm run build on our local and then 
post it again and i'll show you how we can push the changes that we have done our local again to the cloud base so now let me create a new tab and then run npm run build and also let me show you one thing that i have changed in the git ignore file which is on the root of our project if i show you the changes that i have made over here i have removed the public slash build from here so that whenever we run npm run build the files that have been generated can be committed to the git which in turn can be pushed to the github and then can be deployed and we don't have to run npm install and npm run build on the server so these are the files that have been changed after running the npm run build let us commit the change after this let us push this to the github by clicking on sync changes so the changes have been pushed to the github now then we'll go to the cloudways and deploy the changes that we have done to the production so let's go to the cloudways and then go to deployment via git and if you scroll down you can see the pull button just click on it it will pull all the latest changes that is present on the main branch it will just take few seconds to pull the changes it took about 10 seconds and you can see here the repository has been updated messages showing on the top right now let's go to our to-do application and refresh the page and you can see here all the styles are now showing now let me go to the edit section and click on update and you can see that the pop-up is also in green color so in this video you have learned how we can deploy our local laravel project to the server using cloudways so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye